getting ready to start to Kenworth, go pick up the 9, but I've had a lot of guys ask me about the Switchblade Turbo and how I like it. And I love it. This thing with 550 pulls everything I have down the road just beautiful. Um, I like the way this looks. It j it's just a way cleaner look. Uh, this is a manifold, is a mid-mount manifold, a low mid-mount, and uh, I really like that because on a B model it hooked up to the pipe really well. Uh, the, just the straight mid-mount one is up a little farther, and I've, I could have done that, but if you're going to put one of these on, it's absolutely mandatory that you change the manifold. Those are substantially bigger, and Jim said I would need the bigger ports for his turbos to his turbo to really work the best. Let's have a look, see, measure these. Two inch thirty thousandths, and the cat ones, the factory is going to be one point. 750 so inch and a three quarter and two inch so they're bigger these will not work with the cat manifold it's kind of like trying to run a marathon and breathe in with your mouth and exhale with your uh, plugged up nose uh, the turbo is just not going to work with those restrictive small port cat manifolds uh, the ports are much bigger and on the C15, it's mandatory. They use a little teeny port. Matter of fact, there's a, a they, when you put the gaskets on, there's a tube thing in there that restricts it. If you go back and watch my videos when I installed this, I show that. Pull them. Yep, they're coming out. Look at that. Anyway, these will not work with the cat manifold. You just can't. It just chokes the exhaust down. And it doesn't spin the turbo. And then the other things that you need to consider when you change over one of these is the Jim will sell you the kit, and he's got a special going on him right now. You can't beat the price, but he's going to get you the oil lines and everything you need to switch this thing over. I put a drive pressure gauge before the turbo, and then I put a boost press pressure gauge. Um, in this one elbow to show the difference and my drive pressure was always uh, 10 pounds lower than my boost pressure which is really super good and that's one of the reasons you got to have the aftermarket manifold <laughs> You've got to be able to shove the air through this. Now, this is a 132 AR housing. This is a super core turbo, so this is the 80 millimeter compressor wheel. This thing really pumps a lot of air. I have this uh, switchblade on the C15, and I have that switchblade on the D9, and I also have it on my 37. It's doubled the oil life of the 37. complete different tractor for the nine it just gets up and moves and so does the scraper uh, if you got an older piece of cat equipment or any kind of equipment uh, this is the turbo you need to put on and he makes these not only for the cats they put them on detroit's uh, 
they put these on Cummins. They get rid of the VGT turbo and put them on a Cummins. Uh, they come with a solenoid for your cylinder so that when you hit the Jake brake, it shuts the vane, which is going to spin the turbo faster, get you more boost uh, with the Jake brake. And the Cummins guys say that it works, and it works well. Uh, go to switchbladeturbo.com and check out the special gyms running on these it's a super cheap price you can't beat it anywhere this is, turbo is the best it's just the best of both worlds <laughs>